Hello geocachers and uh, we're in Wire Forest now and we find, found this sign, Wire Forest Guns. Actually we're not allowed to have guns in the UK, that's um, in England now, Wire Forest. Please, please beware. beware. Anyway, let's get on to this uh, next geocache. Um, we've had a, did not find down there actually, it was the magnetic, but I found the I found the, the, the remains and it was um, actually a, a magnet, So, but the cash is gone, so I report that to the CO. So it's two finds, one didn't find, but I did find it really because I found the, the broken uh, magnet. And this one is called, this is the fourth one, we're doing ten of course, for the spring, my spring 2018, a new uh, treasure trail, treasure hunt, and it's called Barra Hill. What do we have here? What's that say? I'm hoping that the cache is called Barra Hill, and I'm hoping that arrow, without having to look at the clue, will uh, take us to the cache. Let's have a look. Let's try and find the cache. Right, let's go deep in. Can you see it? See if you, can, you might be the first to see it before me because I can't get my head down. So I'm using this as a... Well, the sun's come out and made that more difficult. Car's coming. So I stand up, pretend I'm taking a photo. There's a nice little hole here. Oh no, the car didn't come. Shout out, the first one to spot it. There's lots of nooks and crannies here. It's actually on a, it's not on a main road, but it's on a country road and it's very quiet at the moment. So we got a chance to, to uh, look. First of all, I thought, oh no, it's a bit too close to the road. It comes a car, stand up. Let it go past, pretend I'm taking a photo of this lovely tree here. In the countryside, it's a van. Oh, I'll tell you what I don't like. It's not the cash, but I hate people dropping litter in the countryside. If you don't like the countryside that much, why do you come to the countryside? That's what I ask. Anyway, let's try and forget about that and find the cash. Looks like I put my hand in there. Deep in. Oh no, not there. But hope I can find it. You gotta put your hands in. Hope there's no no grass snakes or anything around. Um, I didn't set check if it was. Should we check the clue? Because I think I've been come all the way around now, and I haven't found it. So I need to look at the clue. It's nice to find it sometimes. It might be in these little. Can you see this one? Holes. Let's get up. Read the clue. Just check the top first. Oh, actually, it might be behind. Could have. I thought it was being clever then. It could have been just hidden behind there. Well, it could be exactly where it's been pointing there. Look. Just there. Look. Underneath. Barrow Hill. Barrow Hill. Let's just check the clue. Uh, the geocache int is C title. Um, we're in Arley in the Wild Forest and it just says Arley Barrow Hill. Check the title. So it's definitely here, I definitely put it here, but the CO can be quite tricky sometimes and where he puts the cache, you know, so I would have just put it right in the, in the middle and been an easy find, but um, sometimes he does it more tricky than that. So you've almost got to look 
everywhere. It could be a part of a log. I'm sure I'm going to find this, but I think this might take longer than I wished, really. But I can't see, can you see deep in there? It's too dark, isn't it? So, finger tip uh, search is required. I don't want to give up on this one, but I don't want to just um, show you me how long it takes. It might take a long time, but I want to find it. But I could put it in the description if I found it or not. It's a nice little tree growing out there. Look at that. That's funny. I wonder if it's part of the tree and it's starting to reroot on the top of it. Can you see? Can you see what's happened? The old um, trees falling down or being cut down or blown down in the wind in a storm maybe and then there's this little little sapling growing out of the middle of it with moss. So you could have put it in the it could be a little thing. Ah hold on. Thankfully if you stuck with me everyone <laughs> I don't even have to <laughs> you just know don't you? That's a rock. It's a, one of those um, uh, resin rocks. Um, I've got a, t a couple of these, so that's what, probably why I spotted it. I knew it straight away. And there's the log inside the plastic thing. That was so clever. I actually looked at the top and I didn't spot that. Look, that's quite... Can you look? There's moss. Woody, woody. Still looks like a bit like, like a gnarled wood in there. And then lock on. Brilliant, isn't it? I think that's an ex excellent one, actually. Bower Hill. And I was looking underneath. See, I, I told you it would be tricky. I don't know what, where you'd have looked, but, you know, all these uh, gaps underneath, all these holes, nooks and crannies, and then you're putting your hands in to, to check. Oh, it must be in all these, and you go all the way around, and you get... Oh, it's got to be, got to be, got to be in, in the in the in the bottom there because there's nowhere to hide it on top, is there? Look, unless it's um, disguised as a bit of moss. Look, and then there's nothing really. There is only one place, and there's the hole, and there's the cache. I think that's a brilliant one. Might give that favourite. Depends uh, on the other ten. Uh, we've done four. We've got. We found three. Uh, we found and uh, did not find. That was Barrow Hill and we're in the wild forest now and as the car goes past happy geocaching everyone see you on the fifth one I think it is hope we uh, keep this run up thank you very much bye for now